Oh, that's sharp. <coughs> Looks like it's just a first one of the first flakes. Yep. We began to unearth what appears to be a large fragment of a mussel shell. These are important for us to find only because the hunter gatherers in this area use them as one of their major food sources but also because once we take mussel shells back to the lab, we can drill into them and examining them microscopically, examine the layers of their shells and basically learn about the environment that these developed in. Here we have um, a possible biface, and when we think we might possibly have an artifact that has significance or is diagnostic, uh, we excavate it very carefully and we also take sediment samples around it to make sure that the piece is actually in place. What I'm about to remove here is a menu port, which means it was brought in by people. It did not occur here naturally, and it may be modified, but we may not know what exactly it was used for until it's removed and analyzed a bit farther. Right here we have a long bone. So right now I'm going to collect soil samples from it as I excavate it, and then after I extract the bone, I'll collect soil samples from underneath it. So this is a projectile point that I just found in the screen. Um, it's from a layer that's a lot of fill that came from road construction from the 1930s. It's not in context, which is kind of disappointing, but it's still really cool. Um, Dr. Davis estimates it's about 3,000, 5,000 years ago. 